Hey guys, Miss Sarah here with this week's Craftivity video. We are making little baskets. If you picked up your Craftivity packet, you found some things that look like this. These are the supplies you'll need. And if you have some at home, you might want some glue dots or you can use glue, regular glue, or anything that can be sticky or I actually use when I did that first very first prototype I use stapler I use a stapler I use staples that um, leave some pokey things on the basket so I don't recommend that unless you have to use that actually if you got one of our um, cutouts that sticks <laughs> you can use the you can use the sticky um, part itself on our cutout. I'll show you what we're going to do because you'll notice this piece is flat and that is what is going to turn into our basket. When I did my first sample, the the sticky part didn't really stick. So I used I peeled the whole inside out. I just used glue dots. But the second one I did, the sticker, the sticky part stuck. So I could make I tore off little pieces of the edge and I was able to fold them in and it was able to stick to itself. So if you have a piece, just kind of peel off a little edge, see if it sticks. This one sticks. You kind of just fold it up on each other and it starts out slow because you got to kind of form the basket and then you just peel off the next edge and you... Just peel off just a tiny little tiny little section because you don't want to peel off the whole thing because then the whole side will be sticky. You don't want your whole side to be sticky because then you can't put anything in your basket because things will stick to it. Then you fold it up because you get your little edge sticky part showing. You fold it up, you bend it in a little bit, and then you stick it to the side. And then it kind of folds in and it makes basket and you do that all the way around you keep going all the way around and eventually it makes a basket like this when when you finish that you tear off a little edge the bottom of your see this one's not sticking so you would tear off a little edge on the bottom of your handle because this part's going to be the handle this part's not very sticky, so I would need a glue dot for this one, but hopefully yours would stick. Actually, I'm just going to switch this one out to a purple one because this one's going to be sticky. So you would tear off the little edge of your handle, stick this on over here, and that's the part of your handle, and then you'd have this whole thing formed up. You'd form your handle over here, and when you get your handle on, you stick your flower on and that's where your glue comes in because there's not a sticky part on your flower. So when you get your glue, you stick your flower on and then you have your basket. So what you're going to do again, you're just going to tear off the little pieces of the side of your, your, your flower. And then you're going to stick them to the side or you can use glue dots or glue for this. And you're going to form, you're going to do that till you form a basket like this. You're going to tear off the ends of your handle, stick it on, and then you're going to glue your flower on with glue or a glue dot. And then you'll have a nice little basket for your house. You can put things in it for Easter. And it can remind you of our story of Jesus being in the garden. You have a little basket with a little flower to remind you of the garden that Jesus was in. So I hope you guys like that craft. I hope you guys have fun doing it. And I hope it's not too hard. It's a little bit more complicated than the crafts we usually do for our craftivity. But I know that you guys can handle it because you guys are awesome. And I hope you have fun doing it. I had fun making it. So I hope you have fun too. Let me see your pictures of your finished product. Send them to me at christian at pfumc.org. I can't wait to see your baskets. Have a great week, guys. See you next time. Bye.